gonna just go with the flow, go to lectures, go home, go to lectures, go home, go to the gym, go to lectures, go home. You're not gonna meet people. I think that's something that I wish I'd known beforehand. People always say go to societies and stuff, but in my opinion, societies are quite clicky. People aren't as friendly as you'd think they'd be. Like I went there by myself being quite open to the girl. I think she was the, the what do you call like the leader like the president i think she was the president and i was trying to like really make friends with her and she just was not having it like people just have this idea that it's the most social time but i also feel like it's probably the most lonely time for a lot of people as well i'm shocked that in this day and age there's still this like persona that you'll come to uni and like make a bunch of friends because i made a video this this whole top, this whole video is like a part two to be honest to my last video which was like loneliness at uni like the truth about making friends i don't know where this idea that like you'll come to uni and make a bunch of friends straight away comes from i am making like a part two to this video just because I, I posted the video not really expecting anything of it and then so many of you guys commented saying like you felt the same way or you were having a tough time at uni didn't have any friends and um, some people in the comments were talking about like dropping out or like leaving altogether and i was just like oh my god like this is so real like the loneliness pandemic is a real thing this is a part two this is a part two just to follow up on the stuff that i didn't touch on in that video because i think a lot was not said and also if you are feeling alone i guess more i'll, I'll touch on a little bit how i'm feeling at the moment because i had a really lonely phase like in first and third year as in like borderline crying myself to sleep feeling very sorry for myself no friends i try to go to societies and then flop massively not make any friends there i just feel like really left out but i'll touch a bit more on societies later on in the video uni is not like school like at school you can go to school and guarantee like social interaction because school is like I mean, school in the UK anyway, I don't know if anyone's watching from elsewhere, but when you go to school, you're guaranteed to sit next to people. Like you've got a seating plan. You're guaranteed to like meet people every hour of the day from like nine to three, you're guaranteed to speak to someone. Whereas at uni, it's not like that. Like at uni, you're all on different schedules. And I think I do medicine, so I only ever interact with other medical students. And if you're doing biology, I feel like it's the same. Like Yes, you'll be in labs unless you'll be in seminars, lectures or whatever, but you're only gonna speak to biology students. And it's not the same as school where you've got a dedicated seat and plan. Like there's no structure to uni, which may means that like social interaction doesn't happen naturally in my opinion. If you do wanna be social at uni, it's it's all down to like, you, may, you have to make an effort. Like if you don't make a plan to like meet up with people, go to societies, go out with friends like not it's just not going to happen where at school you can rely on the fact that social interaction will happen like just by chance and it will happen naturally which isn't i think it's not that's not something that's like taught or like you're prepared for like okay yeah your social interaction yes it's uni is i'll be honest it is one of the most social places out there like that that you can't deny that but like no one ever tells you how much of like you have to plan and like it takes effort it's not like natural in the way that it was in school where you'll just you could show up to school and be guaranteed to speak to someone. Whereas you could show up to uni, there's just effort. You have to go somewhere, you have to go to societies, you have to like message people, you have to put yourself in a group chat. Like there is a bit of effort. And I think where I fell down, like my first main point I guess in first year is don't expect social interaction and social things to happen by magic. Like it's not school where there's structure and it's gonna happen naturally. Another thing is, I think if you're an anxious person, it makes it even harder because as an anxious person or someone, like if you're an overthinker, you're gonna overthink everything. So when it comes to, oh, you have to put a message in the group chat or, you know, you wanna go to this society event by yourself and you don't know anyone there. If you're an overthinker, you're probably just gonna like make things super complicated and messy in your head and just make it harder for yourself. Because like I said, you have to, if you wanna make friends at uni, you have to make an effort and you have to put yourself out there. but if you're an overthinker, before you put yourself out there, you're gonna just tell yourself so many things and it's just gonna become like so cluttered in your mind that you probably, when you do go, or when you eventually do go to that event, you're not gonna be your best self because you're gonna be thinking like, oh, I need to pr present myself in this way and I need to say this and I need to do this. And oh, the last time I went to this event, you know, they, they weren't that nice or hopefully they're nice again. Like you're just not yourself. You're just thinking a million things. Um, so I definitely think as an anxious person, it makes it a lot harder, but I'll touch on more anxiety stuff later on in the video. If I'm being like brutal, I guess this is a bit of tough love, but you'll only be lonely at uni 
if you're like a really passive person, like gonna just go with the flow, go to lectures, go home, go to lectures, go home, go to the gym, go to lectures, go home. You're not gonna meet people because you have to be quite active. And I think that's something that I wish I'd known beforehand. People always say go to societies and stuff, but in my opinion, societies are quite clicky. Like I've gone to a few, I remember I went to this like, feminist society event thinking like oh that's gonna be my people like I was going through this phase of like reading so many like books on feminism and like politics and stuff so I thought this is perfect like I'll, I'll meet a bunch of people there that I'll get along with and because every like I guess I went in the middle of the year so the society was already very well formed and everyone already knew each other and I, I knew I knew that was gonna happen going in but like oh my gosh people aren't as friendly as you'd think they'd be like I went there by myself being quite open to the girl I think she was the the what do you call like the leader like the president I think she was the president and I was being like oh hi I'm new you know I'm so excited da, da, da. I was trying to like really make friends with her and she just was not having it like maybe I shouldn't have spoken to her because she was the president and she would, would, would be busy with stuff but people are just not as open as you'd think and I don't know I mean the same has happened when I've joined like sports societies as well like obviously it's a team sport so they they play together as a team they work together as a team like they know each other already because it's a team thing it's hard to like integrate I've found that most of my friends now like as a fourth year who I'm really lucky I don't I haven't experienced loneliness in like the longest time and if anything I think my fourth year right now has been one of the more social years of my whole uni experience so far but what I have realised for sure is that societies aren't the way that I made friends, like, at all. And I don't, not that I don't recommend them, but they're definitely, like, just prepare yourself to be let down. Like, people, every single uni video I watched before I came to uni was, like, join societies, join societies. But I found them to be so clicky and, like, very, like, if you're joining more than two weeks into the year, like, everyone's going to already have their little bubble. And then sometimes people aren't as open to making new friends in the society. But what I would say is, the way that I made most of my friends is through mutual friends. So like if you are invited to stuff, like anytime that someone invites you to a social gathering or like a party or someone's birthday or whatever, like definitely say yes and try and like make friends with your friend's friends. Because if you already got someone that you trust and like you get along with, you'll probably get along with their mates as well. One thing I have a really big issue with though at uni is just how they, I don't, I'm saying they, but I don't know where this persona has come from, but I don't like the idea that you're just, you're expected to have a massive group of friends. And if you're at uni, and you have no friends and you're the problem like I don't like this idea that like it's just a given like you should have loads of friends like we all like uni is where you meet your friends for life and all this stuff because it can be so hard to do it straight away like straight off the bat out, out of sixth form one thing I would say though is I think I know I'm contradicting myself because one thing I would say though is that school is similar to uni I know I've contradicted myself because earlier I said that school is very different, but if the way, the, whatever way you made friends in school is probably the way that you'll make friends at uni. Because if you think about it, at uni, it's just, the, the, it's the same people. Like, you know, people who you were in sixth form with, most of them eventually went to uni. So the only difference is the, the circumstance. Like you were in sixth form and now you're at uni. If you didn't really do well with social gathering, like, if you didn't really do well with like going on nights out at sixth form like I know my sixth form had like a bunch of socials and I was like how is that is so weird like it was always at a bar or a club as well and I'm like half of us are 17 like what is anyway if you don't really do well with that sort of thing at sixth form you know that for yourself and you know that that doesn't work well for you or you just don't really enjoy it probably means you won't enjoy it at uni as well so don't try to force yourself down that route of like I have to go out clubbing I have to do that because if you're more of like a chill laid back person, you just enjoy like board games or whatever, like there's so much stuff for that at uni. Just bearing in mind the stuff I said, like sometimes societies can be clicky, but I don't know. I think some societies are better than others in, in the sense that they'll be more opening, more opening, more opening and welcome to new people. Um, I think I was just a bit unlucky with that feminist society one and the, the sports and the netball and stuff. It's so hard like admitting that you are a bit lonely at uni as well, because it's like, people just have this idea that it's the most social time and I guess it is but I also feel like it's probably the most lonely time for a lot of people as well it's you've got so many people around you but everyone is kind of doing their own thing and like I said like if you're kind of going with the flow and not really pushing yourself out there you just won't meet new people and it's it's a bit of shame in admitting it because there's so many people around so it's kind of like you blame yourself like something's wrong with me but it that is not the case at all like 
it's just an awareness i think because you're told the same script over and over it's the most social time you have to go out like people meet people all the time like but people don't tell you that you do have to make a bit of an effort and you do have to like understand that it's not going to happen naturally i think if you if you're living the thing, if you're living this belief that like it's gonna happen naturally, it's gonna happen naturally, then you'll be shocked because it doesn't happen naturally because it's it's not like school with a structure. In terms of flatmates, I know everyone's had a different experience with this because I know some people who get along so well with their flatmates straight away and they're quite lucky and then other people have like such a nightmare with that, their flatmates. I was in, so basically I tried to get into like the most popular accommodation in my first year because that's where everyone was and I was thinking like, oh, if I go there, like I'll meet lots of people. It was also next door to the med school. So I wanted to be as close as I could to like where all my lectures would be. And I didn't get in because it was really popular and oversubscribed. I ended up going to this like international um, private accommodation. So there were so many international students. It was quite a nice accommodation, I'm not gonna lie. It was really modern and it was really nice. Um, and my flatmates were also really nice and they were all doing like masters because they were all international. Um, but one thing I would say is because I think your flatmate experience is going to be so dependent on like obviously who you live with like now that i've said it, it sounds obvious but because i was with people who are really serious and really focused like they're doing their masters then they're, they're not first years they don't want to have fun like they just want to get their degree i didn't go out that much in first year and i think that probably contributed a lot to why i was feeling really lonely and why i didn't meet as many new people like don't get me wrong we did go out a couple times as a flat and like have meals and stuff but it was very like very prim and proper organized civilized like social stuff it wasn't like it wasn't like what you think of with uni like going clubbing and like going on a bar crawl like they were just not into that which is totally fine it's worth bearing in mind if you're put in a situation with your flat where you feel like it's just not going to go anywhere and you're not going to have like that social that really really social life that you do that, that you want it's maybe worth thinking about how you can get that elsewhere and like Again, putting yourself out in other situations where you can get it. With flat, with your flat, it's hard as well because like, you're kind of like low key. Like when I think back to my first year, like a con, like it's kind of a bit like a prison. Like you're own in, you're all in your own little cell and like you share a kitchen um, and you just like, you don't speak to each other that much. Like some flats are so social and they like have dinner together every night or like they cook together, bake together. But we definitely didn't do that. Again, because I probably think we were all or they were all doing their masters maybe but yeah like sometimes do you know what i mean like when i think if you're struggling with loneliness sometimes it's just a combination of you're a little bit unlucky with your circumstances like you're not around people who want to socialize in the same way as you there's also a time where it gets to where like the the loneliness that you are experiencing at uni like affects your self-esteem and then like the mental health issues start creeping in because you know i think I think people will only get the loneliness feeling and like how badly it can get you down like if you've been there yourself like if you're someone who's like always had friends and you've always had like a group of friends who like just totally get you you're probably not even watching this video like I feel like people watching this have probably been really lonely and know what I'm on about but it can really get you down because I think what I started to do in first year was I just like I started to feel a little bit lonely and then every time I would go out I'd be like reinforcing it in my head like oh no one wants to speak to me again like no one wants to sit next to me and like I just keep telling myself that and I'd, I'd, my brain was probably like finding evidence automatically to like believe it even more do, do you know what I mean like it's one thing to just have a little bit of a phase a couple of days where you're feeling a bit lonely but then if you keep if that keeps snowballing and you keep seeing things and like believing it more and more it'll just get you really down like I had a bit of a tough time in school I've not actually spoken about this on my YouTube before but I had a tough time in school being like picked on by people a little bit so I am from London initially but I moved up north um like to Durham sort of area like in year seven and then ever since then I always felt like a bit of an outsider it didn't help as well because I was literally like the only black person in my school like if four, five hundred, six hundred people coming from London where it was like so diverse. Like I always had a tough time being a bit lonely and outcast at school. And I think what I subconsciously did when I came to uni was like, I carried that with me and I was still like, oh, I'm still an outsider. Like I'm still really lonely. Like maybe the reason why I can't make friends is because like, people I don't fit in and like then I would find reasons why I'm not fitting in I'm not wearing what clothes they're wearing I don't use the same slang as them like do you know what I mean like if you keep snowballing it you'll keep it'll just get worse it'll get worse and worse and worse and then that's when like 
the mental health stuff comes in which is a whole other thing at uni because not only is uni a really lonely place uni is like an awful place if you're struggling mentally because you'll you'll see so many there's there's just so many opportunities to see other people doing well whether not not even just on social media like people posting and stuff but like if you're going to lectures and you see a group of people who are just like in a group they're having fun together they look really like happy it just makes you feel a bit crap it just makes you feel shit like it, i'm not gonna lie what i would say is it's not it definitely doesn't last forever like i'm speaking about all these things and speaking about loneliness but i'm like the least lonely person at the moment like i'm so lucky that things have taken a turn um from first year when i was a fresher and then to now as a fourth year third year was a really lonely time as well because i was on placement and some of the placements i am some of the placements at my uni you have to move miles away for like you have to move like ridiculous like it's I, I was in newcastle uni i'm in newcastle uni but my placement was in middlesbrough so you had to move home um it wasn't just me a lot of people did have to move as well and that that was really tough initially like because as well, like my hardest, my hardest exams were in third year. I made a video about this, about how I'm, I'm laughing as if I wasn't like mega depressed at that point, but I was, I was lonely because I'd have to, I had to move away from uh, Newcastle where I'd only just started to find my feet again with the social setting and like making friends in second year, in year two. And then in year three, I had to move away from all of that when things just started to pick up. And then on top of that, my exams were really hard that year. I literally failed one of my exams and that was just like, the cherry on top for my mental health like crashing down i mean I, I i passed overall and i progressed onto year four and things are all fine now and i'm back in newcastle which is great but i mean the mental health thing like if you're not around the right people or even worse if you're alone like you will just feel crap like it's it's i always feel a bit sad when i think back to my time like when i had that experience because i'm like i, I would hate to think if someone else is going through the same thing because it's really really tough uni they think they do a lot because they send you links to stuff and they send you links to counselling and like oh we're here like here's emotional support but like a link and a little website and me filling out a form saying like oh yes I am depressed yes I am anxious that's not gonna make me feel better until I actually see someone because for me for example it took literally months to get my first counselling appointment at uni like when I told them in third year I was I was really lonely I was really depressed I had I felt like I had no one around me because I literally was by myself in like the most weird city Middlesbrough I, I just I needed help like immediately and my uni in particular I think it takes a long time to get support it took months but hopefully other unis are better with that because literally i hate to think if someone's going through the same thing i don't know if i'm the only one who experiences this as well but i feel like um loneliness can make you get to a point where like the bare minimum from someone makes you like like you're so impressed like i've had moments where i've like hung around with people and like they're just like being a decent human being like they're being nice they've asked my name or they've opened the door or like they've like oh how was your day or like do you know what i mean like you know when you try and speak to someone and they don't ask you questions back and it's only you asking them and you feel like you're finding out loads about them but then they don't know anything about you that's always a red flag to me because it's like do they not care or do you know what i mean yeah like if you're really lonely i feel like the bare minimum of someone showing interest in you will become like like oh my god i have to be their friend like oh my god that they seem lovely like they seem so nice they're different to everyone else even worse if it's like a boy because then like i'd probably start to fancy them like i found that like when it gets super super bad you just your standards go out the window like christina have some respect like someone being nice isn't enough to like want to be their friend or want to even fancy them like just because they're being a decent human being and asking you how you are doesn't mean that they're like a saint but then that's what that's what will happen if you're like super deprived and if you don't have friends and do you know what I mean? Like, I think if you're not used to human interaction, just basic decency, that will seem like super high and up here when really it's just like normal and it's down there. Um, I feel like this video has been very miserable. So um, moving on to like what's helped me, I know I, I touched on a little bit how fourth year, like where I am now has been like one of the most social times ever. And it genuinely has. What really helped me was, um, like I said earlier, making friends with your friends friends. Um, but also what I think, it all starts with honestly just breaking the cycle in your head. Like if you're telling yourself that first of all, you are lonely, that's okay to admit it as a fact. Like you are feeling a bit down. You are feeling like you've got no one around you and you can't talk to anyone. 
that that can be a fact and that you can admit that to yourself but what i would say to really stop doing is like try to break the cycle of each time you go out like reaffirming it like i would literally start to just see like oh this person didn't sit next to me today that means they don't like me or like oh i normally sit with her but she sat with someone else like um or this person isn't even looking at me like do you know what i mean like you you start to just find a nitpick and like build up your belief in it even more that needs to stop like for sure one thing i think that can happen unintentionally when you are feeling a bit lonely is you start to like i'm not sure what the word is but i'm gonna say objectify people so basically you just start to think that like people should you just start to think that like people should want to like you or people should want to spend time with you this person should sit next to me like you start to forget that people have their own lives as well like that girl might i don't know like maybe she needs to sit with her other friend her other friend is having a bad day or like just maybe someone just do you know what i mean like people have their own things going on and their own reasons for why they decide to spend time with you or not spend time with you or why they ignored you today you don't know what's going on in their lives so not everything that you're telling yourself is a fact a lot of it is probably just like false information that your brain is like using to try and like reaffirm this belief that like you're lonely and here are the reasons why sometimes the reasons why you're lonely are nothing to do with you and sometimes they are but like making yourself feel bad and like blaming yourself and like making it more of a spiral and more snowbally just is not good for your mental health like at all like the number one thing I would say is that you have to break that cycle of telling yourself these lies. Also, I'm not sure how to explain this, but my approach to um, like loneliness and like feeling like I'm alone is totally different now. Um, what I would say, like go when I think back to how I was and like how I was feeling and when I was like mega depressed, like I literally had to start antidepressants because I was so depressed at uni, um, which I, is a really common thing. Like I know a lot of people in my year group at uni, at med school, we're literally on antidepressants and like when you think about it you're at uni like you're literally 21 22 like outside of uni you're a young adult who's got their life ahead of them like it's a bit sad when you think about like we're put in this really difficult situation of like you have to socialize and you also have to get amazing grades you have to juggle like your work-life balance like it's just a recipe to struggle a little bit so i guess that's why loads of people are on antidepressants but what i would say now is like my approach and my just the way that i'm thinking is totally different and i think if you want to go from lonely to not being lonely anymore and like having a group of friends i honestly think it's less about like where you're going what society you're going to what event it's less about where you're going and like what you're thinking in your head because i honestly think now like if all my friends tomorrow abandoned me I wouldn't have a problem because I'm just now the sort of person, like the way that I think, I honestly think I could go anywhere and like strike up a conversation and like get along with anyone. Like it's more of a mindset thing than it is like you have to go to X, Y, and Z event. Like if you're thinking you have to go somewhere to make the friends, then I think that's, that's a not the right thinking. Like it's more like who you are as a person. Like if you have like good qualities and you're really polite you care about people you're not needy like you're not like a you're not giving off like desperado vibes but like you're just a nice person who can go anywhere and you feel confident in yourself genuinely i promise like that's the sort of vibe that will attract friends like anywhere you go i don't know if this video would have been helpful or probably made you feel worse because i feel like i've just like gone up gone on about how depressed i was and how depressed you maybe are and i've shared one tip and probably it wasn't even a very good tip on how to like feel better about yourself but if this video helped in any way please leave a comment i reply to all of my comments and i'm probably going to post more videos on this like things they don't tell you about uni because i feel like there's so much there's videos out there that share tips but they're just not like I don't know they, they weren't they didn't really help me when I came to uni and I feel like I've had a very fully fledged uni experience now where I've had very low lows and very high highs so I feel like I can talk about quite a lot so if this video helped please leave a comment and I'm sorry if I made you feel worse but thank you so much for watching bye